السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر خان رومانا فرام ڈپارٹمنٹ آف زولوجی جے ٹی آرٹ سائنس اینڈ کامرس کالج فار وومین ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ آئی ہارٹلی ویلکم یو ان مائی ویڈیو لیکچر ٹوڈے مائی ویڈیو از فار ایف آئی بی ایس سی اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ دا ٹاپک از اسٹڈی آف فائلم پلیٹی ہیلمنٹ اینڈ دس ٹاپک از فرام زولوجی پریکٹیکل Now, first we see the important characteristics of phylum platy helminth. All the animals belong to the phylum platy helminth. They are triploblastic, acylomate and bilaterally symmetrical. They may be free living or parasite. Kuch platy helminth aise hote hain which uh, they can live independent life. means free living hote hain but some of them live as a parasitic life inside the body of their host for example tapeworm fasciola hepatica etc the body has a soft covering with or without cilia platy helminth ki jo body hoti hai they are covered by a covering which is very soft and they are such covering is called pellicle and pellicle is with or without cilia the body of platy helminth is dorso ventrally flattened without any segments and appear like a leaf they are deod of anus and circulatory system but has a mouth they respire by simple diffusion through the body surface they have an organ level of organization platy helminths do not have a digestive tract aise platy helminth جو پیراسائٹک لائف گزارتے ہیں ان میں جو وہ ڈائجسٹیو ٹریکٹ یا ڈائجسٹیو سسٹم نہیں ہوتی ہے دی اسپیس بٹوین دی باڈی وال اینڈ آرگین از فیلڈ وتھ کنیکٹیو ٹیشو پیرین کائما وچ ہیلپس ان ٹرانسپورٹنگ دی فوڈ مٹیریل تو باڈی وال اور آرگینس کے درمیان میں جو خالی جگہ ہوتی ہے اس میں جو وہ پیرن کائما پایا جاتا ہے اینڈ سچ پیرن کائما از یوز فل فار ٹرانسپورٹنگ دی فوڈ مٹیریلس پلیٹی ہیلمنٹس آر ہرما فروڈائٹ اینیمل اٹ مینس دیٹ اے سنگل انڈیویژول ہیونگ بوتھ میل اینڈ فیمیل ریپروڈکٹیو آرگنس میل اینڈ فیمنس آر ناٹ سیپریٹیڈ Platy helminth reproduce both sexually as well as asexually. When the platy helminth reproduce sexually, fertilization is always internal and asexual mode of reproduction is by regeneration and by fission. The life cycle of platy helminth is complicated. Their development is indirect. It means that During the life cycle, one or more larval stages are seen and such larval stages are modified into adult individual. All the platy helminths have great power of regeneration. If their body is cut away, then there will be a new part of their body or new organ development will be immediate. Development immediate hota hai. We can say that they are having a great power of regeneration. regeneration flame cells are present in platy helminth which are useful in excretion and osmoregulation we can say that excretion and osmoregulation is takes place by flame cells the nervous system consists of brain and two longitudinal nerve cords arranged in a ladder like fashion تو جو دو نرو کارڈس جو ہوتی ہے وہ جو لیڈر کی طرح جو ان کا ارینجمنٹ ہوتا ہے 
now we see the classification of platyhelminth plati phylum platyhelminth is divided into the class these are the turbillaria second class is trematoda cystoda now first we see the general characteristic of turbillaria in class turbillaria all the free living organisms are kept and all such free living organisms are found mostly in fresh water their body is dorso ventrally flattened and their body lacks hooks and suckers to jitne bhi turbillarians hote hain unki body ke upar jo hai wo hook ya suckers nahi paye jate hain example of the turbillaria is planaria autoplena etc now this is the uh, figure of planaria planaria belongs to the class turbillaria their body is dorso ventrally flattened head region is triangular having eye spot mouth is present in the central portion and two nerve cords are present which are arises from the brain region so this is about the turbillaria uh, planaria planaria is uh, these are free living organisms so mostly they live inside the bros we can say that these are the browing animals next class is trematoda in the class trematoda most of the trematodes are parasite they live inside the body of their host and they live as a parasitic life inside the body of their host they having a well developed hooks and suckers and these hooks and suckers are the organs of attachment jab ye trematodes host ki body ke andar hote hain to hooks aur suckers ki madad se they attached to the internal wall of their host example of the trematoda is fasciola hepatica diplozoon etc now the third class of the phylum platyhelminth is cystoda in class cystoda एग्जाम्पल आप देख सकते हो टेप वर्म और जिसे टेनिया सोलियम भी कहा जाता है ऑल दिस स्टोर्स आर एक्सक्लूसिवली पैरासाइटिक इन देयर हैबिटेट इट मीन्स दैट दे ऑलवेज लिव एज अ पैरासाइट इन साइड द बॉडी ऑफ देयर होस्ट एंड दे लिव एज अ पैरासाइटिक लाइफ हेंस दे हैविंग द ऑर्गेन्स ऑफ द अटैचमेंट विच आर हुक्स एंड सकर their body is dorso ventrally flattened elongated and body is divided into segments or strobila their body is divided into the head neck and proglottids proglot head region having suckers which are useful for the attachment and neck region is unsegmented portion which is lie between head and proglottids proglottid is the largest part of the body of tapeworm which is segmented and the young segments are present just beneath the neck and the older segments are present in the posterior most part of the animal in this way this is about the classification and general characteristics of phylum platyhelminth thank you